Hi and welcome again. I will continue a little bit the review of the artillery Sidewinder X1. It is an amazing machine and uh, I tried to print with uh, flexible filament and um, it came out very well. And I want to show you how I did and the slicer settings I did as well in Craftware. But the settings should be similar to any other slicer as well. Also the G-codes I made inside the slicer for uh, get these uh, successfully prints here. So one thing that is helping a lot here on the Sidewinder is that it is a direct driving extruder and um, everything, there is no tube, there is no Bowden tube here and uh, that is a big, big, big benefit here. Compared to my Vanhau D9, I had troubles to printing with the D9, but I think that is, we have a double gear um, extrusion on the Sidewinder, we don't have that on, on the D9 and that's therefore I struggled to get it there. But this is a dream with um, flexible filament. So I did print these with a Kung Fu Flex TPU and this is a gear and uh, this is a original size and it came out extremely well. I, you can see here on the pictures there's no stringing, there's no nothing. I didn't remove any stringing here, absolutely nothing. The hole for the screw is perfectly, the axle, the hole for the axle is perfectly. And uh, then I printed it in even a bigger size. And again, you can see there is no stringing, the holes and everything inside. I have a little bit of stringing here. And uh, otherwise the holes and everything is absolutely perfect, as you can see. And this is really, really flexible. So another thing I tested out here that I want to do, and that's for my CNC router. My wheels are not fitting nicely into, uh, into the V shape of the 30, 60 uh, alloy profile I'm using. So I made my own wheel and I used this with 90% uh, infill and it seems to be very well. So I will absolutely test out this on, uh, on the router at least or, or at, uh, at one of the side wings on the Y-axis. I will try this out. Let's start uh, looking at the, how to load the filament into the extruder. The first thing you will uh, recognize is that I couldn't get it through the, the filament sensor. So I did bypass the filament sensor with, with some uh, PLA just, and then I bypass it on that way. So that's the first thing I did, because it, it's simply so soft that I couldn't go through the contact in there. The second thing is uh, now that we need to load the, the filament, and uh, here comes the wheel really handy in, and you will, Enter it here until you see there is resistance. You turn on your printer and you set the nozzle heat for, uh, for uh, 225 degrees. So let's do that. 10 degrees. This display is so responsive. So put it to 230, doesn't matter and we let it heat up. So after we put it in, now we see the filament is coming through here. And let's take a look here now. Uh, so now I got filament here. See it's coming out. Really nice, nice and hot. So now we have it uh, through the nozzle. Very, very easy. And I turn off the heat here. Close. So, next thing you need to do is you need on this side here you have this little this little wheel and you need to push this up quite a lot. It, it the, the the wheel inside the extruder just need to touch the filament. If it's too hard, it will. Um, 
it will be coiled like that inside the gears and we don't want that. So you just loosen it really well and just secure we are uh, tighten it a little bit. And when you enter PLA or PETG afterwards, you tighten it even more. But very loose and just grab on the filament and then you're good to go. So now we have been uh, setting up the, the filament and we are ready to print. But uh, before that, we need to go to the slicer and take a look on what we have to do there. So we are in uh, Craftware and I will add an STL file. I take my wheel that I use for my CNC router and uh, yeah, we will not go through everything here. I will do another video uh, about uh, the Craftware uh, in a few days. So you have uh, loaded your, your STL file and these two options we want to look at is the options tab and you click on the printer tab and uh, here I have a, a profile for the artillery X1 uh, there is a link in the description where you can download uh, uh, these configuration files also for the for the slicing and the filament afterwards it's easier for you so uh, two things you need to do here is to add these um, uh, uh, G-codes for the G-codes heater <clears throat> and in this case we home all all axes we uh, reset the uh, extrusion distance after that and uh, then I move uh, the uh, nozzle and makes it ready for prime I take an M109 here and have put this is for flexible and uh, and PLA so before priming it will uh, heat up the nozzle and this was the only way I could find in Craftware to do this because I really want this uh, nozzle to prime then I have some in the footer and uh, here we home the x-axis and uh, we turn off the fan we turn off the extruder and we turn off the bed before that, I retract the filament with three millimeters just to release some pressure uh, in the extruder. And turn off the bed and then I disable all, all the motors. So that's what we do here. And in the slicer, you have uh, several taps you need to, to focus here. And if you look on the basics, we have uh, extrusion width for 0 0.4, that's exactly the same as the nozzle size. Then I have a layer height of 0 0.2. The speed is 30 millimeters per second. I did try go to 40. I still think I can get it to 40, but one time it did uh, quail um, in the ex extruder and I had to take it uh, start over again. Here is the filament diameter, the flow adjust. I do uh, two loops. Um, if you click on it, you can see here, it's very well described in, in Craftware and also visual shown. So the thickness will be uh, 0 0.8 millimeters. Then I have the perimeter speed, I'm set to 60. The density here is not correct. Ah, for the wheel it is correct, but for your other whatever you need to know, to have it's um, it's like uh, twenty percent normally I use. I have uh, top layers uh, four. I don't need that on the next one. You see here again that's a layer. In this case I have uh, oh it should be three and three. So three layers. And the infill was 20%. So then we go to the advanced tab. There's nothing to do here. I normally never touch this. The foundation is the first layer. And the first layer height is 0 0.2 millimeters, as you can see here. Make extruder adjusted. I just let it run on, on 100%. I have no problems running on 30 millimeters per second. But the travel speed I reduced to 75%. Uh, so why do I do that? Well. 
it is mainly because of the stringing at the beginning. I, I, I hope to get a, a little less stringing and so far it looks good with, with this adjustment. The temperature is 100%, 225 degrees. Then I have the set adjust, nothing. My bed is leveled manually and uh, it's, it keeps going strong with, as I leveled it for a week ago. Then I use a skirt and I always also use a skirt and I use two loops here. <clears throat> and as you can see, on the drawing here, there are two loops around. Its minimum length will be 250 millimeters. Again, it is to remove, and I don't that, do that on all filament, so I can remove if there is some uh, filament uh, left on the nozzle, just so I not get this into the object that we want to print. And I do this uh, two loops, and uh, yeah. Then I have the bed. I put the bed to 50, between 50, 60 degrees. <clears throat> My uh, nozzle temperature, head temperature will be 225. And we don't print, we wait till this is done. We take the bed first and uh, yeah, and we heat up simultaneously. The fan speed I uh, have to 100% and we disable the fan on the first layer. Be aware, if you set up this by yourself, it will, for Craftware standard, be three layers. For me, it is too much. And in many cases, especially with PLA, and if I have a, a big footprint, um, I, I even use uh, cooling on the, on the first layer as well. It gives a much better smooth surface. On the G-code, here again we have something, and uh, we have the g-code that matches the uh, confo flex and uh, we do go set up i lift the nozzle here a little bit it's mainly because i uh, i i do not want it to be close to to the bed uh, from the first g-code that we made with the printer so i lift the nozzle and uh, then i move it to uh, x5 and y10 position and uh, we are going set axis to 0 0.2 that is our layer height and we are now ready to prime i reset the extrusion distance and we now prime the nozzle for um, for the 80 millimeters and then from that we quick wipe it with with f5000 and push really filaments through for the last uh, uh, 20 millimeters after that we go to i lift the nozzle again and uh, we are waiting to get temperature what has been set in the uh, when we did slice the stl file the last tap is we have a double extruder so here it tells me there is a yellow one this means i have not stored the settings and this one was what i changed so i will store this and flint OK and override and I slice the wheel and you can see up here on the status it's uh, 17 minutes if I print now 7 17 p.m. <laughs> and uh, yeah the filament length I will use uh, 80 uh, centimeters or 800 millimeters the weight of it it's a uh, TPU, it's approximately 2 gram. The price is uh, it, it's in krona, so it's less than 1 krona here. So now I can save it to my pen drive or, or whatever, or run it directly through the printer. If you look on the, on the G file over here, you will see the, the settings you do in here. You can see it over here, you can recognize this is settings for when we have uh, prepared the filament. This is a startup where we prepare, uh, where we go, we uh, 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 home all axes and we really start to, to, to prime and set the temperature for the prime. Then we lift uh, and uh, the, then we lift uh, the set axis here, and again and again. And from here, we start with with the slicer uh, settings. Then, when we go to the end of the file, if we go that here, you will see here that we... Uh, I need to remove these files because I got them here as well. 
but we have to turn off the cooling fan we have to turn off this and then disable the, the, the motors yeah and that I will remove from that file I see so um, that's it so let's go uh, print the wheel Well, we are at the end of the filament, if I have to say so. And uh, my wheel was printed, but this time only with 20% infill. So you see how soft it got. So, um, thank you for watching. And uh, I hope it helps you to print with the Flexible, the Sidewinder X1. It's absolutely perfect for uh, for flexible filament. Don't rush it, take your time and it will be easy as peasy. See you next time, bye bye and happy printing. <laughs>